Dear student, welcome to the online learning. Today we will learn about chapter number 11 that is algebra. Today's topic will be use of variables in common rules. So let's begin with our today's learning. So here comes the rules for geometry where we will discuss first of all about equilateral triangle. So look at this figure which represents an equilateral triangle. So as the children, it is an equilateral triangle. So it has all three sides of equal measure so let's represent all its side by taking a length of l units for each of its side now let's discuss regarding the parameter of an equilateral triangle so whenever we discuss regarding the term parameter it defines the total distance or the total length for any given figure so let's discuss this as such we have taken the length of each side of an equilateral triangle that is equals to l unit now when we discuss regarding the parameter of an equilateral triangle we have to take sum of all its three sides to get the total distance for this closed figure now if we know the length of each of its sides we can even multiply the length of each of its side by 3 or else we can take the sum of all its three side to obtain its perimeter now as such we know the length of each side of this equilateral triangle we have represented using a term that is small letter l so we will write it in place of length of each of its side so we will get its perimeter is equals to 3l units now let us learn about the another shape that is a square so look at this figure present on the screen as such you can see here children it is a four-sided closed figure and it has all its sides of equal measure and each of whose angle is equals to 90 degree now let us discuss regarding the parameter of a square so whenever we talk about the parameter for any closed figure we have to define its total distance or the total length for the particular given figure so as such we have taken the length of each side of a square is equals to s unit then its parameter will be given by taking sum of all its four side as such it is a four sided closed figure or if all its sides are of equal measure then we can even multiply length of each of its side with 4 to get the total distance or the parameter for this given figure so as such we know that the length of each of its side we have represented using a variable that is s so that we are going to write here and we will multiply it with 4 so we will get the parameter of a square is equals to 4 s units now let us learn about the another shape that is rectangle so here look at this figure present on the screen so children you can see this is also a four-sided closed figure where we have two opposite sides and each of whose angles are equal to 90 degree now you see here the longer side we have termed as length and that we are representing using a small letter l whereas the shortest side we have termed as breadth and that we have represented using small letter b as such it is a four-sided closed figure so here we have four sides but here we have two opposite sides which will be equal in measure so here you can see that when i talk about the parameter of this rectangle i have to first define that what actually i have taken for the length of a rectangle so that i have taken l units and the breadth of this rectangle i have represented using a small letter b units now let us learn about the parameter of a rectangle so children whenever we talk about the parameter for any given shape we have to take out its sum for all the given number of sides okay so here you can see as such we have four sides so all its four side measure we will take the sum so while taking so you can see that we have added l 
with the opposite side l and the breadth that to with its opposite side breadth fine so you can see here two times we have l so we have got 2l then while adding the similar variable that is b with v you have got two times b okay so as such you can see this 2 is common in both the variables so that 2 we will take it out as a common number and the rest of the terms we will write it inside the bracket so it will be written like 2 multiplied with l plus b units so parameter of a rectangle can be given by 2 into l plus b units fine now let us come to the rules for arithmetic so here as such we learned this property commutativity of addition of two numbers so children in this property already we learned when we take any two numbers okay and when we change the order of that numbers we get the same sum fine so this is what is stated by this property so you can see the example present on the screen that we have taken two numbers let's say that number as three and four so when we have taken the sum for this two number towards the left hand side we got 7 now let us take the same numbers but by changing their order towards the right hand side so you can see I have changed the order the number which was the second number towards my left hand side that number I have taken as first number towards my right hand side and the number 3 it was the first number towards my left hand side that I have taken it as second number towards my right hand side so when I take the sum for this two number towards my right hand side here also I am getting the same sum that is 7 as like the sum I have got towards my right hand side it is same like the left hand side sum now so this property we can even represent using the two variables okay so let's say that two variable as a and b so this commutativity property can be written like a plus b will be equals to b plus a now let us learn about the commutativity of multiplication of two numbers so let's take one example again so as such we have taken again the two numbers let's say that 3 and 4 and when we are taking the multiplication for this two given number we are getting the product is equals to 12 towards the left hand side now what as like the previous property what we have done here instead of addition we have changed the order of the number and we have used a multiplication operation between this two given number so here also towards the right hand side after changing the order of the given number and taking their multiplication we will obtain 12 only as their product fine children so that you can see both the side we have got the same product so what does this commutativity property states even if we change the order of any two given number we get the same product both the sides so if we want to represent this property using two variables it can be expressed like a multiplied by b will be equals to b multiplied by a now let us learn about the another property that is associativity of addition of three numbers so here what we will do we will take any three numbers so let's say that number as 2 3 and 4 now first of all we will take two numbers together and that two numbers sum we will take first towards the left hand side so by taking the sum for this number 2 and 3 you can see that we will get the sum is equals to 5 then after getting the sum for the first two number we will take the sum with the third number also so when we add 5 with 4 we will get 9 towards the left hand side now what I will do towards my right hand side I will take the same numbers but this time I am going to add the next two numbers first and after getting their sum I am going to add it with the first number so here also you can see towards the right hand side when I add this 3 with 4 I will get 7 and after adding this 7 with the 2 I will get 9 okay so you can see both the side we have got the same 
sum. So, if we want to represent this property using any three variables, it can be given like a plus b first time that has to be added with the third number that is c so here we have represented it using a variable c then it will be equals to the right hand side when we add the first variable that too with the sum of next two variables okay children now let us learn about the distributivity of numbers so as such whenever we have to multiply any two given number okay so here you can see that this property can be used and this property will be helpful to us to get the multiplication done in easy way so you can see here the first number is of two digit and the next number is of three digits so what we have done we have expanded the next number in terms of hundred okay so when i have written i have written like 15 multiplied by 100 plus 20 so you can see inside the bracket i have two addends and outside the bracket i have one whole number present so how i can proceed this i will multiply the first whole number and i will multiply it with the first addend then i will place the addition sign and then again the whole number 15 will be multiplied with the next add and that is 20 so while doing so while getting the product for each of this numbers later on we will add so we will get the answer is equals to 1800 so for this property we can even use it using the variable so let's take that the whole number as a and the next two add in as b and c in terms of variable so this can be expressed like a multiplied by first add in and then addition sign and then next to that the first whole number can be multiplied with the next add in that is c okay so this is how we can express this property of distributivity of any three variables now let us come to the exercise question given in textbook page number 230 so here the first question is the side of an equilateral triangle is so shown by l and you have to express the parameter of this equilateral triangle using l so look at this figure present on the screen so as the children we know that the equilateral triangle it has three equal sides and all its three sides are equal in measure so all its side we will represent using a unit l so its parameter will be given by taking the sum for all its three side so that it is l okay so all the sides when we will add we will get three times l fine now come to the next question that the side of a regular hexagon is denoted by l we have to express the parameter of the hexagon using l so here first of all we must know that we are talking about the regular hexagon so all its side will be equal in length okay and total number of side this regular hexagon has is equals to six fine children now look at this figure we have drawn a six-sided polygon okay and it's all side we have represented using a small letter L now see here the parameter for this regular hexagon will be given by multiplying the length of one side with six okay so six into L we will do as each of its side we have represented using a variable L so we will get 6 L fine now come to the question number 3 a cube is a three dimensional figure as shown in the figure now it has six faces and all of them are identical as said in the question okay and the length of an age of the cube is given by L find the total length of the ages of the cube so as such you can see the figure is drawn and it is present on the screen now let's say that from the question itself we have the length of an age of the cube will be given by l so that we need to state as such from the question it is given now first of all we must know that what is ages so children ages means what the two faces of a cube meet at a line segment so you can see the total number of 
line segments we have for this cube will be equals to 12 now when we talk about the total length of the edges we have to multiply number of edges that with the length of one edges so total number of edges are 12 and length of one edge is given by variable small letter l so 12 l we will get now come to the question number four the diameter of a circle is a line which joins two point on the circle and also passes through the center of the circle now we have to express the diameter of the circle that is d in terms of its radius r so children you can refer this figure present on the screen as such from the figure we know this a b represents what diameter and this p c represents what radius for the circle okay and c represents what the center of it now looking the given figure you can see the diameter it is a b so this a b we can even write like a c plus c b okay now as such we know that when i take the distance from c to a it represents the radius for the drawn circle as well as c to b also represents the radius for the drawn circle so i can write here small letter r in place of ac plus bc fine so it will give us 2 r two times the radius and we know that twice of radius gives us diameter now here comes your home assignment that you need to solve question number 5 of exercise 11.2 given in textbook page number 260 so children thank you complete your notes